Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday, November the 1st, 2015. I hope everybody had a really nice Halloween. Uh, I had a nice day. I went for a walk in the park and I sat under some really great, big, amazing oak trees and I got grounded and I meditated and it was just a really lovely day. And um, so anyway, I have the Truth Seekers Tarot deck for us today. It's the 1st of November. The moon is in Cancer still. Um, and one is a new beginning. It's the Aces in Tarot. So I'm going to pick three cards for the day. Um, let me get the crystals out of the way. And I was reading, uh, or I saw a post rather online on Facebook where a card reader um, charges his cards with crystals. And so I left that beautiful, I got this beautiful crystal from um, my Reiki teacher when I was taking Reiki classes and it's got Reiki energy and it's just a really nice, powerful uh, energy amplifier. So I left that sitting on the altar overnight to charge up the cards. So we're going to pick three cards for today and let's see what we've got here. I'd really like to know how everybody's been um, doing since that full moon. So if you'd like to leave a message for me in the comments section or on my Facebook page, that would be really great. Um, also, one thing I wanted to mention is that if you go in the more info box below and click on that, um, my email address will be there and the information for how to go to my Facebook page will be there. So um, in case you need my information, if you'd like to book a session, please email me at rasincula at gmail.com and the information is below in the little info box. Um, so for the first card, we've got the Prince of Pentacles. For the second card, there's that Ace of Cups in reverse. So there's some new emotional thing going on that's I feel like it began a while back or it has begun, but it's somehow not complete. And there's the three of swords, but that's in reverse. So let's see if I can get this a little more tuned in for us all. Okay, so the Prince of Pentacles is not the Queen of Pentacles and not the King of Pentacles but he's not the page either. The page is the very beginning of something and the prince would be like the knight. And he charges in on his horse and he's sort of kind of like a, an immature energy, like a teenager energy. But in the pentacle suit, which represents the earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, the Prince of Pentacles is usually um, not such a fast, reckless energy, but a more slow and steady energy. And as you can see, his horse, he's not even riding the horse. Like the horse is here behind him and it's grazing in a meadow. And he's got three pentacles. And the three of pentacles is this energy of sort of mastering something on a new level and like, um, getting a promotion at work to like supervisor or finally having enough knowledge to teach a class or where people come to you and ask you for your advice because you've reached a certain level of mastery with something. Um, so it's not like the nine of pentacles, but it's, it's a newer energy. And this is really wonderful for uh, the first of November, for the one day, the beginning of the month. This sort of sets the tone of the entire month should be about slow and steady progress in in money, in finances, in knowledge, in learning, in developing your projects that you've started working on already and it's going really well and the 
sign we're going to be in the sign of scorpio for the next three weeks until the 22nd of november and i was watching kelly rosano who you can find here on youtube she's a really great astrologer and i like watching her videos and she was saying for me i'm a sagittarius that in the in the first three weeks of scorpio it's about um just sort of hunkering down tuning in fine tuning continuing the work and that's sort of what this, in fact, it is what this card is saying um, that we should be doing at least, you know, uh, today or the beginning of the week. If people don't work on a Sunday, well, that's understandable. But I feel like this is sort of setting the tone for this first week of November or for the entire month, according to the astrology reports I was watching. So remain diligent slow and steady, um, you are making progress. And this Three of Swords is saying there was something that you severed ties with and that you let go of something. And, you know, the Three of Swords upright is usually a big red heart with three swords piercing it. And this is three swords guarding an archway, guarding a doorway. And it's sort of like having a closed heart. Um, and in the regular interpretation of the Tarot, it's the heartbreak card. It's a card of loss and sorrow and broken hearts. And this is like guarded, like you can't get through this door and go on this pathway into this beautiful rolling landscape with the trees and the clouds. And you can't walk into this dreamscape or this, you know, this hopeful, um, beautiful paradise sort of situation here. It's being guarded. But in reverse, it's like you're, you know, the swords, you, you've let it go. You've gotten to a certain point with something emotionally something that didn't work for you emotionally and you did let it go and so now you're able to be focusing not so much on the emotional stuff and the grief and the sorrow and the overthinking this thing that's been breaking your heart and causing you grief and suffering and now you can just sort of focus like if you have gone through something like that focus on your work right now and, you know, sometimes that's not appropriate. Sometimes you do need to look at your emotional stuff and focus on that. And a lot of people who are workaholics ignore their emotional stuff and they just continue to work. But these cards are saying for um, the month, you know, for the beginning of November, and I have a feeling it's a theme for the month, you know, Scorpio is about the emotional truth. And um, we are in Scorpio now, and the moon is in Cancer, and Cancer is about nurturing and the emotionality. So, at least for today, um, you know, I feel like we've come through a lot, and we have an emotional truth, and we have a new, we have a new vision, or there was a gift of a new emotional realization that just allows us to be this happy person who, you know, has some control in their finances, who has some control in their material world, who feels comfortable in their home, who has pretty good health, and um, you feel young and vital and more hopeful again after you've been through quite a bit of emotional upheaval. That's pretty much it. These are like these are like emotional upheaval is is like over. It's done. It's in it's in the past and you can move on into a newer landscape emotionally. And if this is the landscape, it's really gorgeous. It's a beautiful meadow um, with flowers and um, trees and blue sky. And the message I'm getting is stay really grounded, um, especially during Scorpio. And um, like I said, I went out in a grove of trees yesterday and I sat underneath the trees. So you might want to take that into consideration. So I would like to pick um, one Oracle card for today. And 
and um, no, actually I'm being told to pick one more tarot card that will be like an overall theme for the week starting for the first week and I'll do a, a, a series of card readings for Monday through Friday but um, I'm hearing to pick an overall theme for the week card from this tarot deck. So um, overall theme for the week of November 1st through November 7th, 2015. So this is the justice card and it represents balance, and it represents truth, and it's legal issues and things like that. And it came out in reverse. So I feel like this could have been um, going through a, a legal situation where you were suffering a loss, and now it's over. And now you're starting out in a new financial situation. It could have been a business relationship or it could have been the dissolution of a marriage as in a divorce. But whatever it was, um, justice has been served and you are free. Like really, if there's been any doubt in your mind about moving forward in your life, you can move forward now. And it's not... Um, it's not a dramatic, traumatic, uh, extreme changing situation. It's a slow and steady, more gentle. This card really uh, feels like Taurus for me. And we had that full moon in Taurus last week. So something could have come to completion emotionally and, um, something could have been finalized in, in the week last week or leading up to last week. So this is really saying, you know, some people would say justice has not been served, but with these three cards reversed like this, this is really complete here. This is wrapped up in one little package. It's done, taken away and really just focus on the Prince of P Pentacles and having a new fresh start in your um, financial work, uh, life, your home, your physical reality, your physical health. If you've been having any health problems, you've reached a new level where you can recuperate. If you've had to move out of your family home and go on your own, you'll find the right place and you'll steadily make it your own. Um, a new office space, a new job, um, a new level of mastery. If you've just pulled together a curriculum and you are going to teach your first class, it should go rather well. So all of those things, focus on the earthly, being grounded, and focus on that kind of stuff and just leave the emotional turmoil, the emotional stuff that you've been feel like we've all been caught up in a lot of emotional stuff since back in September with the eclipses and the full moons and all the things that I've been saying coming to light to be dealt with. I feel like that phase is finally over and in the beginning of November, now moving forward, we can all just get down to some work and, and start accomplishing some things again. So I hope that was really helpful for you. If you would like a reading about relationships or work or business or health or life purpose um, or do you like to have any kind of energy healing sessions around any of those topics uh, please send me an email at racincula at gmail.com which is below in the little info box um, it's been a pleasure reading these cards for you um, i really enjoy making these videos and using the cards and giving you messages and teaching you things and um, I love the feedback, so keep it up, and I will see you all soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.